today is Wednesday, December the 15th, 2010, and I'm going to demonstrate harmonic distortion and, and how it uh, how it looks on a spectrum analyzer. I'm going to use the um, old Macintosh MC275 that I've used in uh, that I recently documented to illustrate this because I've been asked some questions on uh, YouTube and hopefully this will help. The, uh, the amplifier set up with uh, its output. Both channels are driven. Both the output is connected over to dummy loads, two 200 watt 8 ohm dummy loads. We can switch between the left channel and the right channel right here. We'll use the right channel, it doesn't really matter. We're going to be watching the output on an oscilloscope on Tektronics 485 and of importance here is uh, watching it on a spectrum analyzer. It's an old HP 3580A spectrum analyzer. Here we have Tektronics SG505 oscillator we'll be driving it with. These two units are not going to be used in this illustration. This is a distortion analyzer. And this is a voltmeter. So what we're going to do is power up the unit, run it up to 120 volts. This is powering up the uh, amplifier. And we'll watch the output start to come up right here on these two these two devices. I've selected 2500 Hertz for no particular reason. This is its output. As it appears on an oscilloscope, we're driving it at low power right now. This is the, the 25 Hertz come up. See, I've got it set at 75 right here, 7500. If I move this to 2500, it will move the the trace back over to the middle of the screen. There's our 2.5 kilohertz. There's our fundamental frequency in the middle. There's our output, 8.47 volts across 8 ohms. There's our distortion, 0.16% distortion, very low. There's our frequency, 2500 hertz. And that's what it looks like on an oscilloscope. Looks really good. Well, what we're going to do in this experiment is to overdrive the amplifier. Now, if I can watch both at the same time, the oscilloscope and the spectrum analyzer, as we start increasing output, as you'll see, the output is increasing here. We've gone from 8 volts up to 17.8 distortions. Still about 0.2. We can see the amplitude increasing here. We can see the amplitude of our fundamental increasing here. As we as we continue to to raise the drive voltage here, and our output increases. What we're going to see is as it gets higher and higher. Things are going pretty well still. 25.9 volts. 25.9 squared divided by 8 is our output power. That's a bit over 75 watts. That's about 80 watts or so. 24.5 volts is 75 watts across uh, 8 ohms. So our distortion is still very low. But we'll notice that as soon... Uh, let's drop that down just a little bit so we can see a little better. As soon as, as, soon as the... There it starts to clip. You can see the clipping right here, the right here on the peaks of the sine wave. Still 2,500. So our distortion went up to 2%. We're at 27 volts, and right here we're just starting to see our harmonics coming, which is harmonic distortion. And as we start to clip higher and higher, we're clipping pretty hard now. There it is. That's really clipping. Our distortion's up to 16% at 27.2 volts. And here is our harmonic distortion. This is our fundamental frequency at 2.5 kilohertz. 
this harmonic right here, if we move it over to the center by turning this, if we move that right over to the center, we'll see that that is 5 kilohertz. That's second harmonic distortion. The next one, which is the most offensive, if we move it over to the center, okay, turning it slowly, that one's in the center. That one is seven and a half kilohertz. That's a third harmonic. So there's where the distortion is is coming in. That's the most offensive is that third harmonic. The second harmonic is suppressed primarily because it's a push-pull amplifier. That's one of the beauties of push-pull amplifiers. Our clipping is severe, but the spectrum analyzer tells us what the offending frequencies are. Now, as we I can get this back here just about right as we crank it back down and our sine wave becomes pure again all of our harmonic distortion goes away there's nothing out here anymore I'll crank it back up so you can see it once more there it comes in again second and third harmonic now here's the fifth seventh ninth and eleventh harmonic but the third one is the big one second one is second this is our fundamental frequency right here that's harmonic distortion as seen on the spectrum analyzer this is the old uh, HP 3580A and there we go back down same thing will occur at any frequency but uh, I hope this answers some of the questions that uh, have been asked me about harmonic distortion and what and what it is. Hope this helps.